Happy, what day is this? Sunday. Happy, sanctified, safe, separated Sunday. <laughs> and even though it doesn't start with an S, let's go celebratory Sunday. Happy Sunday, everybody. This is Rashida Monique here. I'm here um, to just talk to you about this book that came out last week. It's been a whole week since I became a published author. Come on, can we give the Lord a hand clap of praise for being a published author on today? Yes, I'm a published author and I'm excited about it. I am not going to keep my mouth closed about it. Um, as I said before, if you'll get tired of seeing the, the, uh, the video, get tired of seeing the, um, uh, <laughs> the, uh, the post and all that, I don't know to tell y'all, maybe y'all need to mute, mute me for about 30 days to give yourself a break, but this is just what I'm doing here. I am just tagging some random people. So, hey cousin, hey Valley, how you doing? Hey Faye, it's good to see everybody here on the face of book on the instagram i am if you don't know who i am i'm rashida monique i am what the uh, founder of the daily shift broadcast i am also one of the authors in the published work of seeds of hope of the visionaries richinda pickens is uh, myself her and six other wonderful authors that are helping you uh dig down deep to find your seed of hope hey kathy hey hey how you doing thank you richinda so y'all know what's so funny my sister in love my sister in love jennifer said what have you done to celebrate the publishing of your book and i'm like i didn't do anything other than a lot of screaming and the hollering and clapping and jumping so i got some things in mind but i was like let me run to the store and give me a great big bouquet of uh, flowers i love uh fl flower arrangements and i was like well nobody sent me any flowers i'm gonna go pick me some up and i went to my favorite floral spot and they are closed on sundays <laughs> i'm like y'all used, used to didn't be closed on sundays but i guess they figured <laughs> they need to cut down on their hours but hey diana good afternoon so i was like let me come on in and let the people see my face hey y'all hey i just got back from celebrating with my nephew um my god sister that grew up with us her youngest son is graduating and um so we celebrated that he's playing football at um who up north oh my gosh i can't even get the name of the school uh, Michigan Tech. He's playing football at Michigan Tech. Um, he's not just a jock, but he is very smart, um, very talented. That's my baby. I was like, I just remember when he was just so chunky, and now he's like so athletic and such a grown man with a beautiful head of hair. Just, I'm so excited. So, Rochinda says, celebrate every man. Hey, Patrice, I am um, celebrating this win, right? Celebrate this win. So let me just tell you about, um, I ain't going to say the process per se, but I just, um, I'm thankful for this opportunity. I'm thankful for the invite um, that Rochinda extended for authors. I thank her for uh, following up with me and for accepting my yes. Um, she wanted a confident yes. I don't know how confident my yes was, but I said yes because I trust God and I trust her. Um, and uh, she said, I will be celebrating again when that national bestseller seal gets affixed to our book. Yes, we're going for national bestseller, right? So you are part of this journey with us um, to pre-order this book. And so if you haven't yet, go ahead and go to chindaandfriends.com. C-H-I-N-D-A-A-N-D-F-R-I-E-N-D-S.com, chindaandfriends.com. Go ahead and go to the Seas of Hope, right? When you go there, it's a drop-down button. Scroll down to Rosheeda Brundage, click there, put in your quantity. Even if you don't have PayPal, click the PayPal button. Once you get to PayPal, it's going to say sign in as PayPal or sign out as guest. Guest, you want to choose the guest if you don't have a PayPal account. And then just follow the directions there. So you can do that. Or, now this is just an or, this is an, this is or, if you are local and you are near me and can get me your cash and you want to order from me, let me know. 
so I can place an order for your books, okay? Um, so we can do that too. So, you know, I'm flexible because why? We didn't write this book just to write a book. We want you guys to read it. We want you to be inspired. We want you to be uh and uplifted we want you to be hopeful because you know hope make us not ashamed that's scripture i didn't make that one up hope will not make you a shame right faith is the substance of your hope right faith is now faith is the substance of things hoped for when you have hope that means you got faith you know people say my faith is failing me but honey if you got hope for a better day if you got hope you got faith so we just here to just pull people along right Rochinda said the, credit, the the website will take all credit cards. So you go on there, follow the, the directions. You can do credit cards, right? Go ahead and go on there. Your debit card is run through the credit card company, right? And if you're an older person and you don't know about all this stuff, go find you a younger person that spent all their money online. They'll show you how to get your purchase done. Hey, Natasha. And Natasha said she can't wait to get her book. I have a lot of people say they can't wait to get their book. I can't wait to get my copy because I only know my story. But I'm so excited to read the other seven stories. It's not just about me. It's about us collectively, right? We are in this thing together. We are in a fellowship together. And as Pastor said, we're fellows in the same ship. We all are rowing to make it to another day. And so we're just helping each other along. And so I'm excited. I'm excited. So y'all know it's not all about me. Let's talk about Natasha Tupper. Let's talk about her baby girl published her other book the other day. And I was just so excited that she's an international bestseller. Come on. We are we doing this. We are community. We are community. We are helping one another. Mama's on here. Hey, Mama. Hey, Kathy. And so we are We are here together helping one another. Um, I just thank God for the family and the friends, my internet family. Y'all know people, people down Facebook and social media. But I have loved since social media since I've been introduced to it. Hey, Ladari. I have loved social media since I've been introduced to it. Hey, Danita. And, um... I have met so many people through social media. Hey, Regina, hey. And I have had great opportunities through social media. The First, the natural hair community. Like, I, I have uh, influencers. We talk about Gigi Made. We talk about professional singers. We talk about Didi. We talking about um, just wonderful people. Pam Booker, Shamir, um, Cherise. Just all these people that I have been connected to. We're going to have to get our schedules together. You need to text me your schedule, girl, for this upcoming week, Ladar. So, we have become family, right? These are people that I just don't know on social media. We just like each other posts, but these are people that we can call upon. If you need me, call me. People have said that. Now, I am ain't going to lie. I have not been <laughs> as faithful in calling, but the Lord is helping me get through that. Let me start calling these people to help me through. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, boo. How you doing? So, you know, we're just excited about what God is doing, and he's doing it through social media. So, some people may be home. And you may feel like you don't have hope, but I tell you, hope is here for you. There is a better day. If you could just hold on to this word, I would have fainted. I would have gave up if I didn't believe that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Thank you, Rochinda. I would have fainted, but I didn't give up. So don't you give up. I know it seemed hard right now. Three months ago, three months, it wasn't even three months ago, two months ago, probably more like 10 weeks ago, I was in a bad situation. I was in a bad situation. Now, I'm going to tell you all this story eventually, but not today. I was in a bad financial situation and I was having like anxiety. I couldn't sleep. I was stressed out. I, things was just so awful. But when I can't tell you that, one, I once, when I stopped holding it in and start asking for help, number two, when I start letting God just point me in the right direction, that this thing has turned around in a matter of 10 weeks. So if God could do something for me in 10 weeks, I know he can do something for you in 10 weeks. When I gave Rochinda my yes, I didn't have no money to help pay for publishing and, and pay for the wholesale of the books. I didn't, I didn't have it. I didn't have it, but you know what I did? I asked. <laughs> I asked, and I was able to get it done. Hey, hey, Gina, 
It it wasn't no my papers on one no time. But I I was determined to uh if I didn't have hope for myself, I hung on to Rochinda's hope. I hung on to her belief that I could do this. And one thing that really helped me was when I finished, y'all, I struggled, I struggled with my chapter. I struggled with my chapter. I, I was reading over and adding stuff to it. And it was just like, it was, seemed so discombobulated. I just couldn't. And so when I told my sister, like the first part, I, it was passionate. The first part I wrote it, hey, April, so passionately. I tell you when I'm, when something is on the inside of me and it's burning, I can flow and write stuff. But I was like, that's not enough. Right. Thank you, Danita, for putting that uh, link up. And I um, I wrote it and I was like, so I added some stuff to it. I was like, okay, well, this is this going to work. This is going to work. So when I went home that weekend to submit it, I didn't have it on my computer. I didn't have it on my drive and it wasn't in my email. I never emailed it to myself <laughs> when I left uh, the work computer. I don't know about it. Uh, when I left the work computer. And so I was like, okay, well... It's just, it's what it is. So I told y'all my computer is jacked up, right? So let me just tell y'all the truth. My computer is jacked up. I'm sitting here with a 10, 12 year old computer that worked when it wanted to work. <laughs> I have old technology that I stream with. I just work with what I got, right? And so I, I got home and I told my sister, I said, I don't have the full thing. All I have is the beginning. And she said, so I said, can you listen to what I have? And I read to her what I have. And she was like, girl, that is good. She said, what's wrong with that? I said, I, I don't know. Well, I, I just felt like it needed something else. And she was like, no. She said, pray over it and ask the Lord what to do and keep moving. So I did that. It That, that uh, piece was due, what, February the 28th. I was up that Sunday night on February 28th <laughs> finishing my chapter. But what really blessed me was where Rochinda got it. She she um sent me a voice note and she was she was so excited. She was like, Rochinda, this is so good. I read it and I'm so proud of you. And, she, and I was like, what? I thought it something was wrong with it. I thought that it wasn't enough, right? I thought that it wasn't enough. Rochinda's over here saying, Your story is fire. Right? Regina said that Regina said that's a whole word. Yeah, so I um so she and I was excited that she was excited. So then that so I baited that nerve, and then the um, editor. One of the days I was talking to the CPA that helped me get my life right. Right, shout out to Tony Brown. Anybody know Antonio Brown? Y'all shout out to T Antonio Brown. Y'all know who Antonio Brown is. Shout out to him. But anyway, it was just a stressful day, and the editor called me. She was like. I don't know how, but I'm editing your piece last. And I'm like, really? She's like, I just didn't see it. So she was going through. She's like, this is so good. She's like, this is so good. She's like, this is really blessed me just editing your, you lost pieces. She said, this is really just touched me. And I was like, for real? <laughs> I'm like, for real? It did? And so as we went through the different changes and different things, you know, editing for me has really been a problem because I'm not that, I was that child. You know how you was at school and you had like the little test and the teacher would check your test before you leave the desk so that you can know what you got. I don't want to do that. I don't want to watch you check my stuff. You just let me know what it is when you're done. But I didn't avoid it and I went on with that process and it was a very um, organized process you know, with the deadlines and everything, and it has, communication has been clear. I don't know who said that women can't work together. I don't know who told y'all that lie, but if you work here with Rochenda Pickens, she got her stuff in order. She's just going to tell you what's expected. All you got to do is follow instructions. It ain't hard. Mm -mm. So, y'all, so I was excited about that. And so, you know, just overcoming that, that whole fear. And then you know how the enemy do. He, he, he ain't, he ain't original. He tried to come back with it a warmed over, right? And so last Sunday, last Sunday I was so excited and I was going out here. And somewhere between Sunday and Tuesday, I started to feel like I'm the lesser. I was like, Girl, I'm the lesser of the authors. I think I'm the lesser of the authors. And maybe uh, my, my chapter ain't going to be that. And maybe people are not going to uh, be happy with their purchase because I only wrote one chapter and... 
they may not even like my story. And I'm like, so y'all know what I did. I had to talk to my girls. I had to talk to my girls. We have a sister chat, right? So it's me, the bestie, my sister love, and my sister. We're all in the chat. And they let me go on and on. They let me say my say. Then they just had to tell me, you just too much. Get over yourself. <laughs> Number one, all that is a lie. I don't know where that came from. You is tripping. And trust me, I was tripping. I was tripping, but the enemy will have you thinking that you are less than, so you won't fulfill the purpose. But it don't even matter how I feel. The book is out here. Y'all that bought these copies, alas, I check, I got 50 sold, so I need y'all to, if you haven't bought yours yet, go ahead and buy it. If you want to get one for your mama, your daddy, your sister, your cousin, your enemy, your best friend, your sister girl, maybe your co-worker, go ahead and share this post. Share the post when you see it on your timeline. Share it to your people. Share it to these people. The devil is lying. He is a whole lion punk. Say that, Regina. He is a lion punk. Y'all know Mother Moore. If y'all remember Mother Minnie Ruth Moore. Now, Mother Moore was hard on me. <laughs> but it's one thing Mother Moore said that I was like, she just tripping. But the older I get, the more I feel like her. She said, if I could just lay my eyes on the devil, I'd put my hands around his neck and choke him dead. <laughs> Mother Mo was going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the devil and choke him out, right? And that's how I feel because I'm like, you just doing too much, dude. Why are you playing? Rochenda said, did they shake you up? They shook me up, Rochenda. Rochenda, they set me straight, Rochenda. And I was straight tri tripping. And so, and then the Lord reminded me, I had um, started reading this book called The Big Leap, The Big Leap, talking about how we don't allow ourselves to stay in these happy moments because we feel like we only deserve so much happiness. And so what I was doing mentally was I had a high, a high emotional day on Sunday and Monday was a pretty good day. So Tuesday, I was like, well, this I can't just stay in this mode still. So something has to go wrong. So then I started reading things into other things that wasn't true. Hey, Carnesha. Hey, Glenda. Hey, Lakeisha. That were not true. They weren't true. And so, you know, that's the thing. And that's why I have hope because as I learn things, I can recognize the different ways and tactics of the enemy. But God has set this up social media the information age that we can learn from one another and know how to combat the enemy right starting with the word of god and then learning how to apply it you may not know how to apply everything that you read out the word but when you seek wise counsel come on my therapist is wise counsel <laughs> my sister girls they're wise counsel people like rochina that has been on this publisher road before they are wise Council. So April says, stay in the moment. Let's stay in the moment. Yeah, make that shift, Danita. I talk about the daily shift. I have to make that shift every day. Um, Rashida, you are good enough because if God didn't put this stuff in you just for you to have it, but He put you in it, put it in you for you to share it. And so I have to seek wise counsel to know how to apply different things to my life. And that's what this book is going to show you. Some different th different things, different ways of how we overcame and how we have hope and the things that we went through that we have to pull on because you have to find a way to keep going because the enemy is out to snuff us all out for no other reason than the purpose that God has put on the inside of you. And he's a great deceiver. He wants you to be deceived. He well, He's an illusionist. Right? He smoke and mirrors. He wants you to think that you're by yourself. He wants you to think that you're no good. He wants you to think that your life is worth this. He wants you to think that you have no purpose and no hope. You know, nobody's ever satisfied with what you do and nothing you put your hands to seems to work. But the devil is a lie. Right? Let's just call him what he is. That's right, Carnesha. Your gifts will make room for you. And so the next time somebody come to you and say, you know, you have this inside of you. Do you want to work with me on that? Just say yes. Stop saying no all the time. Stop talking and reasoning yourself out of it. I do that. And so this time I was like, you know what? Let me put my foot in. Let me put my name in the, in, my name in the hat. Right? Let me put my name in the hat. And let me go ahead, Rochenda. You know, she's been encouraging me long before this. She, let me tell you something. So listen. So I already knew about Rochinda because we in Sassy Jones Secret Society because we both like jewelry, right? 
But she would pop in and tell us to straighten up our crown and different things. And so I started following her on social media. So, you know, she got the Kept one Woman of God Ministries. And she's doing all these wonderful things on uh, social media with the women's conference and different things. And I'm like, okay, well, one day she heard me just encouraging the people over in CSS Secret, Secret Society. Because y'all know I like to talk. And if I talk for any time, most times it's going to be talking about the Lord eventually. And we're going to, you know do what we do so she said how in the world did i not know you did this i said i don't know how long have you been on social media doing this about 2016 you can blame pamela booker for that since about 2016 um so between her and camille this national hair community Gigi, uh uh deborah eldridge come on rashida come on over here to periscope we got this challenge going on. And I was doing the challenge, but I was like, I don't know to talk about other than the word of God. So that's what I was doing. And then after the challenge was over, people was like, you need to keep going. Keep going. And that's how I got started. So when Rochinda found out, she was like, well, I'm going to follow you on social media. And she just been encouraging me and encouraging me and encouraging me. <laughs> you know? And so this is what this thing is about because we can't let each, each other die because of the enemies trying to make you feel as if what God has put inside of, inside of you is not enough. So when you're supporting the seeds of hope, come on, you're supporting us. You're helping us to continue to get the word out. Come on, I'm going to tell you this because some of y'all already know because y'all know I don't keep too many secrets. Um, that this book coming. Hey, Terrence. Oh, she said she heard me encouraging and the prayer and praying. All right. I love how God is using you. Oh, thank you, Rochenda. And so as we, um, <laughs> I lost my whole train of thought. I lost my whole train of thought. So, but that's how I got to know. So we want you to not just purchase the book, but this book coming to fruition is propelling me to finish the other book that I've been dragging my feet on because I was so afraid. And I'm like, what in the world is this? Is it even any good? But every time I go back and read through it, I'm like, you know, there's some good stuff. Who wrote this? <laughs> so the other book is coming, y'all. It's coming. It's coming. And so I'm excited because this process is just really helping me. It's really helping me. And people don't really tell you this. When you see people, my niece, <laughs> Gabrielle said, TT, you wrote a book? You famous. Are you famous? Are you a celebrity? I'm like, no, baby. I'm not a celebrity. <laughs> she said, are you? She already think I'm rich. No, she already, oh, TT, you rich? Are you rich? I'm like, no, baby, I'm not rich. I just want you to have what you need when you go to school. I'm not rich. But this baby thinks the she thinks the word of me. And so she has me cracking up and she's like, I'm so proud of you, TT. I'm so proud of your book. And she just loved me up. She's the sweetest 10 year old. You understand? She's the sweetest 10 year old. And you know, and all of you, uh, Cornisha said, tell her, yes, 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 I'm famous. Just a celebrity, honey. And yes, I'm rich. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. So I, I'm excited and sharing this journey to fulfilling my dreams. I never thought that writing would be one of my dreams. Um, quick story about second circuit, I don't know, second, third grade. Um, I had a teacher that did not like my penmanship. She did not like my penmanship. She didn't like the way I made. I think we working on J's that day. And because I was making them my own way, she made me stay behind when everybody else went to the water fountain and took their break. I had to stay in the room with the lights off and practice my J's. And it seemed like from that time on, I just, I just, writing has just, like the physical writing just irritates me. And, but I have found through social media, hey, T. and my brothers on here, that I have been, I'm, I, the Lord has allowed me to be prolific sometimes. If you followed me from my MySpace days, how I used to get up and write something every day on MySpace, or if you followed the first blog, thoughts, um, was it thoughts opinions etc i don't remember the name of that blog that first blog if y'all follow that i can have a tendency to be prolific and y'all know when facebook used to make you, let you do notes before they let you do the long statuses i used to do those as well and not realizing that the lord was building something up in me to be able to write and Regina said and rich we are a part of the royal family you right you right 
Taylor said, I'm a celebrity to God because God knows my name. When when Tasha Kai wrote that song or sang that song, he knows my name. Between her and Israel, God knows who Rashida is. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I know who my daddy is and he know me. He knows me. He know the side of my voice. He know the cut of my jib. He know my whole attitude. Y'all know when y'all be ticked off at Rashida? He already know. He already know. Y'all go to the Lord about it. Because he already know me. <laughs> you want to tell on me? Don't tell Joseph. Don't tell Joseph because he might get an attitude with you. But y'all tell God because he can do something about it. Because Joseph, sometimes daddy say something to me. I be like, but y'all tell God about it. He going to take care of it. I'm just saying. He know everything about me. So, but I didn't know that's what he was building me up to. I never thought I'd write a book. I just found myself surrounded by people that has written books. And I was like, well, let me just take this writing class. You know, I, oh, there was a prophecy once. But you know how sometimes you get prophecy. If you grew up in church, you already received a whole lot of prophecies. And some of them, you sit there like this. <laughs> You're like, I don't know what you heard, but I'll just let you go ahead and speak it. <laughs> listen <laughs> but god it has been a great journey it has been a great journey so i thank you all for supporting i thank you all for sharing all of the pictures the videos i haven't came up with a second concept for another video but i will uh you just found yourself around she said god placed me all right danita you right he put me where he needed me to be. And so I'm just excited. I'm excited to be in such, as my pastor always said, surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. Um, a great cloud of witnesses. It's great to be uh, surrounded by that. Rotina said, I'm making her smile. Y'all know I smile. <laughs> I smile a lot sometimes. But yeah, I'm excited. And because I hadn't really been posting and talking to you guys about this whole thing. But I'm still excited. Don't just think, okay, Rashida just sold her first set of books. Now she's going to go on to her regular note. Mm -mm. I'm going to keep telling y'all because all y'all ain't bought no book. I got uh, about 3,000 Facebook friends alone. All y'all ain't bought no book. I just really, I, all y'all ain't bought no book. Some of y'all ain't even on Facebook no more. And then some of y'all like, okay, I'm going to get it Friday. I'm going to wait for next week. I'm going to do such and such and such. But I don't want y'all to forget. Because I understand sometimes you ain't got the extra $15 because, you know, paycheck to paycheck. Depending on your lifestyle. But I'm just asking y'all to just take some of your Starbucks money and pre-order this book. You know, please and thank you. It'll bless you. I promise you it will. It will. It will. It'll bless you. It encourage you. It didn't encourage you. And buy one for your neighbor. You know that cranky neighbor that's always taking your parking spot. Be like, you know what? I got this book. And I thought about you. I'm gonna gift you this book. Now I'm gonna tell y'all something that preacher, um, I think it was Janara Lakes said over at Mount Nope at Civic Heights Church of God in Christ, Pastor Marsh, years and years ago. And he was like, you know, we <laughs> I ain't going to take out the first part he said. But <laughs> he was talking about buying gifts because it was close to Christmas time. And he's like, buy somebody a gift that's useful. Buy them a good book. Buy them a Bible. You might think, you know, they not in the word. They not saved. They ain't studying about this. He said, oh, but you never know one day late over in the midnight hour when the Lord is working on them. They might get up and pick up that book. They get up and go look in that Bible. Right? So get the seeds of hope. Give it to your teenager. Give it to one. It's not a. It's not a four day read. I, it's not a four day read. Cause I didn't write a day read of a uh, chapter. That chapter you can read on your lunch break. Okay. So it's not a. It's not a. It's not a four day read. But it's something that will encourage you to no end. Right. It will encourage you and uplift you. It will give you hope. It will give you hope, right? And Regina said, we all thank you all in advance, right? Because we're doing this together. Hey, Shelly. So, you know, we're just, 
uplifting one another. That's what we want you to do. So, you know, they make good Christmas gifts, graduation gifts. If you have a women's department, men's department that you, because it, it's men in this book. See, you see my face, but it's men in this book. And I told somebody, I'm happy that it's men in the book. Because usually when you have a project with a lot of women, it's usually all women. But you have men sharing their stories. And so, not that men don't share their stories, but they're usually in a cloud of other men. But we have men in this book too, so it's not just for the women. It's not just for the women, right? So, go ahead and get the book. Give it to your son. Give it to your daughter. Gift it to somebody. $15. Some of us buying gift cards. Anyway, if you like me, I, I buy stuff at the last minute. So nine times out of ten, if I'm sending you a gift, unless the Lord drops something in my spirit or I see something I know that you really like, you're going to get a gift card. So if you're going to buy a $20 gift card, you can buy a $15 book. Seeds of Hope is an excellent read and will allow you to dig deeper in your own life. Oh, Yeah. Because we did discussion. I forgot about the questions, Rochinda. Mm-hmm, yeah, y'all got to get this book. It's going to help you. Right? It's going to help you. Thank you, Gina. Thank you. So, it's, it's, it's a great work, and I'm excited to be included. And I don't know. I don't think it's going to be the last uh, project. We see the Lord say, me and Rochinda might work together again. You guys don't know. You don't even know. But... I'm excited. I'm excited. You guys stay excited. Thank you for your well wishes. For those that have texted me or responded to my text, those that have inboxed me, um, I thank you for uh, all that. I think Danita said, you just over here authoring then, huh? <laughs> like, yes, baby, I'm over here writing stuff. I'm over here writing stuff. And so I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. And so this is the last close, I promise. This is the last close of this live stream. If you're watching this, hey, Boogie! If you are watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching this video. If you have not, this is the last call for this video. If you have not made your purchase of The Seeds of Hope by Rochinda Pickens and Friends, myself, and six other wonderful authors, go ahead and make your purchase today at chindaandfriends.com. C H I N D A A N D F R I E N D S dot com, Chenda and Friends dot com. Go ahead and um, <laughs> hit the purchase button on the Seeds of Hope. Scroll down to the um, go to the drop down button. Choose my name. Make your purchase for however many you want to buy. When they ship, I will be autographing your books before I put them in the mail. So everybody will get an autographed book the first go around. Um, Natasha said, this is a three-step Koji close. This is the church of God in Christ. We don't know how to end the service. Um, <laughs> yeah, chindaandfriends.com, the seeds of hope. We hope that you are purchasing this and you will enjoy it when you receive it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you with the love of the Lord. I love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, I love you with the love of the Lord. Chantel says she got hers. Yes, she got hers. Yes, I can't wait to see. I finally got a chance to look at the hardcover. And when Chenda sent us that little video, I was sitting in the bed like, whoo! I can't wait to get my hands on it. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Is that your bookie? Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait to see Jesus. Ah, yes, that went way back, y'all. That's about a good 15, 20 years ago. Bye. <laughs>